Call the meeting to order. Roll call, please. Here. Brennan? Here. Chartrand? Here. Daha? Here. Pathway? Here. King? Here. Colzer? Here. Marwahan? Here. Mosier? Here. Pepper? Here. Tato? Here. Everyone could please stand when I register their application and application. Father, as always, we thank you for the blessings you bestow upon us. Many times we don't even know you're doing it, and unfortunately, many times we don't acknowledge it. But we are acknowledging it tonight, and we appreciate all you do for us. Lord, during this holiday season, I wish you'd look down on those people that, that don't have the benefit of a happy family and joyous people around them, and it's such a difficult time for them. Please give them a helping hand to help them through these holidays. And if we see where a helping hand is needed, show us the way to do that. And also, please be with those people that have lost loved ones and those that, that need your healing hand. Reach down and touch them and help them. And as always, we ask you to help us help them. We have a moment of silence for those that have passed since our last meeting, please. Thank you. Amen. Pledge to the flag. Second by Craig. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. At this time, we'll open our public hearing for comments on local law introduction number nine, which is enumerating the rules and regulations of the Lewis County Self Insurance Plan. We have local law introduction number 10, which is rescinding local law to override the tax cap. In local law number 11, providing increase in salaries for certain local officials. At this time, I'd ask if anyone from the public has any comment on either of the local laws. <coughs> the hearing will remain open for the time being and we'll come back to it later. Move along to privilege at the floor. We have a couple requests. Mary Frances Wallagory, who would like to address the demo program, I believe. Mary, you have the floor. Thank you. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Mary Frances Wallagory, and I have been the dental health consultant for Lewis County Public Health for 15 years. So on September 28th, on a Friday afternoon at about 4.30, I received a phone call from Mrs. Penny Ingram. I have not met Penny. I don't know who she is. So there was a call that was saying that the program was going to be uh, discontinued. Um, there was money, apparently, I have a portion of the letter that I will read from her. It says, uh, the programs are under review <coughs> both internally and externally to assure they are meeting the community priorities set every four years by the local public health departments and to determine if the definitions of being evidence-based. Now, no one had contacted me in the last four years. I had met with uh, um, the woman, Marsha Marcia Ashley, three years ago, and we had gone over uh, my program. She wanted to see the visual aids that I used in the program. She wanted to know approximately how many children I saw during the course of the year. And uh, so I brought all of that up to public health and we discussed that. Uh, also, there's a certification notice that states 
each classroom that I go into, it's signed by the teacher, and it also tells if there are 30 kids in the class, if there's 20 kids in the class, or whatever, okay? So these were the guidelines that I was going by at that particular time. So anyways, then the letter continues and it says the program has been in place for many years. However, it is not currently to cons considered in, as an evidence-based <coughs> program. In addition, Lewis County Public Health continues to prioritize programming based on outcomes and costs. The, co the program would be revamped and streamlined to target specific populations. Well, we were wondering what the specific populations were, and considering the fact that I see all the kids in the county pre-K, and up to some of the schools have the fifth grade in that building, but some of them have a middle school that they go to. So during the course of the year, I see approximately 2,000 children. Now. Apparently, this does not meet the, meet the specific needs category. Um, for many of these children, they have never seen a dentist. And they will never see a dentist. Um, I can say that out of 100% of the children that I have seen, there should be at least 100 families that should have been hotlined. Because this is abuse and this is neglect and you would be amazed at the teeth that I see. These people are probably Medicaid, Medicare <coughs> eligible, but for some reason, these kids are not getting any dental attention at all. And when I start my programs uh, with K through three, those children, I always, to kind of break the ice, because I'm unfamiliar to a lot of those children, I always say, give me your best smile. And those kids that literally have nothing for teeth are just as proud of their smile as the child that has all of his teeth. And this continues from year to year. Um, I was told by one of the teachers at one of the schools that it was suggested to them that they not talk about this, they not discuss this. The principal or superintendent did not want them to discuss this because uh, he felt that it was going to cause problems with the family. In the meantime, these children are not, they're not uh, being effective at school. They do not get a good night's rest. They cannot eat properly. They do not sleep well. And it's also emotionally affecting them uh, in that degree. So my concern is I really don't know what else we could be doing. Uh, I have tried to uh, reach as many people as I possibly could. When I, when I found out that the, the program was going to be eliminated in the end of September, I was just setting up the program for this coming year. So I scrambled around and we got all the schools together and I was able to visit all the schools and see almost 2,000 students except for the River Valley School and I was not able to go to the middle school up at South Lewis. There just was not time. So uh, that is the way this has played out. I also don't, and I'm not blowing my own horn, but we ran out of money, so I donated two full days so that I could get to the schools to see these students also. Um, and I had a letter here from Dr. Lynn Stacy, which I would like to read, if you, if you would give me another minute. It says, Lewis County Board of Legislators. Dear legislators, it has come to my attention that the dental health program through Lewis County Public Health has been discontinued. It is disturbing that this program has been canceled. This program reaches out to approximately 2,000 children in our underserved county. It teaches them not only about oral health, but also about nutrition and the negative effects of tobacco products. Those are all things that are included in my presentations. It empowers the children to be able to pre prevent their own cavities at any age and stresses proper nutrition and good beverage choices against the barrage of social media. 
at a cost of approximately $3.50 per child for a preventive educational program, toothbrushes, toothpaste, sometimes dental floss, sometimes brochures on smokeless tobacco, whatever I am able to come up with. And providing a child with a life, with a life hygiene skill is a small price against the cost of Lewis County paying for $150 per filling for a child. This is often the only personal contact many of our Lewis County's children have with a dental hygienist as these programs, <clears throat> at, at these programs, the dental hygiene has time to show them proper hygiene <coughs> techniques and talk about the importance of diet, the health of the body, as well as the health of the mouth. She also has time to answer the multitudes of questions. This program needs to stay in our county. The number one childhood disease is dental disease in cavity. There is a real epidemic of decay in Lewis County, and prevention of cavities is a much better strategy than the treatment of cavities. Please reinstate the program to Lewis County. If not, please show us your alternative equivalent of this program that makes dental health a priority in Lewis County public health and for our county. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. I guess I might add that uh, it sounds like a worthwhile program, however, in defense of the public health department, I think that they have suggested there are other avenues of addressing the program, and I'm sure they're willing to look into it more, and I suspect that Andrea, your committee, could address it at the next meeting, look at the various ideas going forward to make sure there is some coverage for the children and see what is available out there. Okay, thank you. Other uh, comments, privilege of the floor. I know we have Joanna Moore here. From, I believe she has an announcement from Adirondack International Speedway. Go ahead, Joanna. Actually, the announcement is not on behalf of the Speedway itself. Um, Northern New York Vintage Snowmobile Racing this organization had split in Boonville midsummer. 90% of the group has opted and rented Adirondack Speedway to bring vintage in the Canadian Pro Circuit Tour, <clears throat> excuse me, back to Lewis County. Um, with that, we'll draw on a crowd of anywhere from five to 700 people in the grandstands for a Friday and Saturday and Sunday event. Boonville has canceled their event, which was going to be held the same weekend. <clears throat> the Canadian Circuit is gonna be running a double points event. It will be a phenomenal banner weekend for the area They'll be booking motels as far away as Watertown to stay. They'll bring in anywhere from 150 to 175 racers, most of them with multiple different sled classes. Um, there's lots of people that will be here from Canada, all over New York State. Some as far away as Wisconsin will be here racing. Um, I was informed this morning by Roger Haru, who is the spearhead of this there in a negotiation with ABC Sports to be broadcasting the cup races on, tel on national TV. So the opportunities there are to promote the county, the tourism, the industry. Um, I have schedules if anybody would like one, what the classes, the events going on, the time scheduling, anything that anybody can help get this off the ground. That's great to hear, Joanna. Well, when is it? Um, test and tune session is January 23rd. The actual race weekend is January 29th, 30th, and 31st. Um, they will be racing under the lights on Friday night. Um, the track is being rented, utilizing the facility for more ventures than just summer racing. Is there anything that you can think of specifically at this point that we can do to enhance this or help? Welcome banners through the county. Welcome to Lewis County. Um, we got the option tonight, today I was speaking with Majestic Fireworks out of Clinton. <clears throat> They're going to cut us a deal. I don't know if any of you have ever attended the Boonville Firework Festivals that they have, whether it's the 4th of July, the Boonville Snow Festival, <coughs> any of that. They have offered the organization the chance to do the same firework show for $1,500. It would be equivalent to what the Lewis County Fair would have.
Would anybody like more information? Yeah, why don't you read some with the audience out there, but put some on the table for us as well, if you would. legislature submitted a resolution requesting expedited decision making by the New York State DEC concerning their landfill expansion permits, requesting support from all county legislatures which have sent solid waste to the Ontario County landfill in the last two years. We learned today that this uh, situation has been resolved, so good for them. Albany County Executive Daniel McCoy, Rensselaer County Executive Kathleen Jamino, and Schoharie County Legislature Chair Earl Van Warmer jointly extend an invitation for legislators to participate in and support a press conference to be held at the State Capitol building on the Million Dollar Staircase on Wednesday, December 9th, related to protecting public health from natural gas infrastructure. And that concludes correspondence. Thank you, Terry. <clears throat> Boards of County Officers and Departments, Terry. Fire and Emergency Management Director Bob McKenzie has appointed Bob Bellinger as Deputy Fire Coordinator for the Northern Zone and Additional Zones as needed. All legislators have received copies of the November 18 Highway Audit Report, the November 20 Solid Waste Audit Report, the Treasurer's November Report, and minutes of the October 20 Soil and Water Conservation District Board of Directors, and November 18th Youth Bureau Advisory Board meetings. And that concludes reports. Thank you, Terry. <coughs> At this time, we move to our reports of the standing committees. First is Bill, Ways and Means, Buildings and Grounds. And you didn't even tell me to be brief, did you? It's no use anymore, Bill. <laughs> um, first off, we reviewed all our budgets. Everybody's on track. And, and I think I said last time, but I'd like to say it again, that they're even 
on track for the most part within their line items, which is really good. Um, we, uh, we are going to explore with NYSERDA and or a private company doing energy audits at DSS and PSP in an effort to, uh, to maximize our dollars and basically save dollars on energy. And uh, we, we, are, we are looking at certain, um, certain existing contracts to, uh, to see if there's any opportunities to save money there as well. As we discussed at our last meeting, um, we did vote to encumber whatever funds is left in the outside council account for next year to do some, to hire an outside council to do some research for us. Um, solar, we're not ready to pull the trigger yet. Bad choice of words, I guess, sorry. Um, we, uh, we also are, are going to look at, um, we saw where St. Lawrence County saved a considerable amount of money by doing fleet management. Liz had reached out to somebody a few years ago about that and, and they weren't ready, but we're going to revisit the issue and see if maybe we can save some money on that as well. Um, we, we are very close to finishing for this year. Uh, the DSS parking lot, there will be some more work to do in the spring, mainly on retention ponds, but nothing on, and some corrections that we want made up there, but nothing um, serious. And as you, as you have seen in the, uh, in the packet, we responded to Greg's request to revisit outside agencies and, and we have a resolution proposed to you to uh, address that. And that's my report. Good job, Phil. Thank you. Neil, social <laughs> service, also the agent. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. He, OFA has processed 295 applications. Emergency heap opens January 4th. Entire heap program is expected to close March 15th, depending on continuation of funding. <coughs> High cap insurance counseling. Open enrollment <coughs> runs through December 7. Calls continue to come in requesting assistance with insurance insurance comparisons. At this point, we have started referring individuals to the New York State Office for the Aging for Assistance. Santa for seniors, gift card only this year, with few exceptions. Cash and or gift card donations accepted until December 9th. Distribution via, uh, via mail, Christmas cards, or with Christmas sharing food baskets by December 14th. This year, our local CSEA will be partnering with the OFA to assist with Santa for seniors. Christmas sharing. Food bags are limited to 200 seniors this year, mainly going to be distributed by volunteers on December 14th. Department of Social Services. The Lewis County Social Services Employment Plan is posted for public comment on the DSS website, and hard copies are available at the Lewis County Workplace and the DSS Reception Desk. Comments are due by December 23rd to Commissioner Jennifer Jones. The DSS Fraud Unit investigated 36 applications for assistance between April and June of this year. This accounted for one case being denied and found that DSS examiners had an accuracy rate of 94%. This is the third highest accuracy rate in the state. The homeless Christmas tree is set up at the Lewis County Chamber of Commerce with satellite trees set up at the South Lewis and Lavo schools. Donations are needed to care for the most vulnerable people in Lewis County. I like on behalf of the Lewis County legislators to commend the Leindecker family of Krogan for opening their hearts up 
and for adopting four foster children. I think that's I, I think that's really a beautiful thing. I just want to say when I retired up here in 2006, I knew this was a place I wanted to retire because of the recreation. But I'm happy I retired here because the people in this county really have big hearts and really make you feel at home. Thank you to the Lion Decker family and thank you, Lewis County. Thank you, Neil. Good Ryan, County Officers, Veterans, Jump Chair, VJR. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I gave my Veterans County Officers report um, last week when I had our budget meeting. I need the HR end. Um, mm -hmm. since, since last week we had our HR meeting, and I'd be glad to let everyone know that our, our training has been set in place, and starting the first of next year in January, our supervisor training will be up and running. So the year one, just to give you a little outline of what's going on, year one will be focused on new and first line supervisors. Year two will be focused on the intermediate level supervisors. And year three will be focused on the sustainment of all of our supervisors. So I think this is a good program to help give our people that work within, that are promoted within, and even new incoming supervisors, the training and the skills and the tools that they can use to further better themselves and our employees in this county. Thank you. Very good, Brian. Jerry, Carson Law. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, do have some resolutions in the packet. Gladly give you answers as we go through them. Just a little further update on the radio system. Uh, we went live, I can't remember what it was, two weeks ago or one. Um, we've had good results, no major <coughs> incidents. Uh, we are chasing a few things like pager. Some of them have got a squelch, and if we turn the squelch down, then you get to reception, and people are not quite used to it. And there's a little bit of <clears throat> comment from the people who are using radio on a regular basis. You don't recognize the person you're talking to the way you used to with the analog radio. And what happens is the voice is compressed. So it changes if that's just part of the new technology. So um, as a whole, everything's going a lot better than I thought it would. So um, hopefully it continues to go that way. That's all I have. Very good. And the 911 center of the sheriff's office will be, when will they start that transformation? Um, well, we want to just be on the safe side and keep that up for Wednesday or we're supposed to <coughs> Find out with Bob Duclos, we'll probably have a meeting coming up to see when this week or next week whether we're going to, what date we're picking to start that renovation. They have some work done already. Okay. All the conduit, they've been in there working previously, a conduit from the generator back through has been run. The um, <coughs> fiber optics from Gentra, the radio shelter in have been run for communications, uh, panels been set. So they've got a little bit done ahead of time, which uh, didn't affect anything else. So I will let everybody know when we pick up the back date. All right. Very good. Thank you, Jerry. Larry, Economic Development, Insurance. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, just a couple of uh, quick notes. Uh, I'd like to make everyone aware that uh, our ag inclusion period is open from November 15th to December 15th. For anyone who wishes to submit an application uh, for inclusion in the Ag District, uh, information and applications can be found on our website. From Economic Development, we continue uh, working on incubator sites, and we are intending to move forward with option contracts for business park land, and that uh, continues. Regional Council Awards URI winners will be announced on December 10th. And that is the end of my report, Mr. Trip. Thanks, Larry. <coughs> Move to Greg, Transportation, Solid Waste, School Activities. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> A resolution is in the packet that I, I hope everyone has had an opportunity to read dealing with um, outsourcing our recycling to Oneida County. So with that, 
I have a motion to authorize Solid Waste Director Pete Wood to advertise for bids for a compactor and a compactor trailer for the transportation of these recyclables. Okay, motion by Craig, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Thank you. There's nothing further to report. All right, did you like to report on the school function? You'd well, I can, yes. Um, today we met um, with <coughs> Ken Blankbush's office and a representative, Ken was actually there, a representative from Griffo's office um, at the Copenhagen School at 2.15 where Mike uh, synopsized uh, a proclamation to show recognition for the Lady Golden Knights and their accomplishment, their achievements this year as state champions in soccer. Um, it was a wonderful event. The entire school was there, including the elementary kids. It was, it was quite nice, and uh, it was a very, and Andrea attended there with us also, and it was um, very enjoyable. It really was. Very good. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks, Greg. Greg, taxation, elections, ID. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> So it was a fairly short meeting um, for taxation. The, uh, the tax bills, of course, they went out, uh, are going to be going out uh, 12 31 2015. So everybody will, uh, at least it's after Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I thought he'd write that though. Hold on to Christmas, Yep, yeah, exactly, because the bill is coming. Um, they had good news that uh, Betsy is, is going to stay with the office of the real property. She's, she turned down the clerk's position for the town of Krogan. Um, so that will help with Linda being, uh, Linda Hoskins of course is now going to be the clerk, uh, the county clerk. So that will help keep that office more stable there. Um, and as far as IT, the uh, Adam had uh, he continues to work along with uh, <coughs> for the radio system to help them in any way he can. Um, we, we are looking at an, an MOU agreement with the Mohawk Networks for uh, for them to attach uh, for internet service for the last mile which uh, would be very helpful for a lot of people in the county because that way they'd be able to have internet service at hopefully at a low enough cost that, and I believe it will be for competitiveness. Um, the other thing is, um, it was my note, uh, two pages. We also are switching over to the Tyler system, replacing the IFM system, and that is predicted to save approximately $32,000 a year. And I want to thank Phil for finding some funding for the libraries and the other outside activities. Thanks. Thanks, Greg. Dick from the hospital. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. The uh, eighth annual breast cancer awareness dinner was held on October 21st and that raised uh, $20,000, all of which will be added to the Blue County General Hospital Fund for both. Uh, it's going to assist area cancer patients with out-of-pocket travel expenses related to their treatments. Uh, it includes uh, opportunity for gas cards, uh, lodging, as they go through their journey with cancer. We had five surveyors from the New York State Department of Health on site, and they conducted the annual nursing home survey November 3rd through the 5th. They found two minor deficiencies. Uh, the Department of Health was very complimentary in their exit survey regarding the level of care given to our nursing home residents. Mrs. Lisa, Lisa Bain, acting nursing home administrator, was especially pleased with the results this year. The board of uh, managers congratulated Mrs. Bain and the nursing home staff on the great job and excellent care that they're giving our nursing home residents. Uh, Mr. Birch reported that he continues to work with our partners on DISRUF and the funds flow. He added the funds should begin to flow to the partners in uh, December. 
Uh, New York State DOH has not yet announced what projects uh, have been awarded. Our facility submitted the following three projects, uh, an assisted living facility, uh, Copenhagen Health Collaborative, and a surgical services renovation. Uh, we should receive word on the hospital's IGT monies uh, sometime in December. The year-to-date surplus at the hospital is $732,792 versus a budgeted surplus of $218,884. Our liability, uh, hospital liability of the county is $3.8 million as of November 13th, and we've already paid uh, October and November health insurance premiums. Uh, Continue to wait word on the nursing home IGT, but normally this doesn't happen until next year sometime, and it should be around $4 million. The low volume appeal payment of 908000 according to the minutes, was anticipated to receive next week and will be used to pay the pension payment to the county. I believe that's already been done. Uh, lastly, the nominating committee, uh, chaired by uh, Mr. Truax, reported that the nominating committee presented the following names. President for next year, Michael Young, Vice President Gary Turk, Secretary Kevin McCarthy. Barring questions, that concludes my report. Any questions for Dick? Thank you, Dick. Thank you. Andrea, Public Health and Community Service. <clears throat> um, you have resolutions in your packet tonight for public health. <clears throat> the committee reviewed the revenue and expenditure to date, as well as the projections for the rest of the year. Approximately $160,000 of county share funds is projected to not be spent this year. <clears throat> Penny presented data analysis that is being spearheaded by NYC Department of Health and early intervention costs. Lewis County provided our EI data for this project. The cost to the county and state for EI have increased since the state took over the billing in 2013. The report will be brought to New York State Department of Health with specific recommendations to improve the policies and contracts that hopefully then would reduce these costs to both the counties and the state. Penny also presented the quality improvement and cooperative compliance Report for the committee's review, and this report is available to all legislators. I also have a motion um, to authorize Public Health Emergency Preparedness Coordinator Ashley Wade and phys Physical Manager Paula Kaufman to travel to Dallas, Texas from 1 17 2016 through 4 22. I didn't think that was right. Extended vacation. Yes. I would say that's by January. Yes. I was thinking January. It's April. Through April. It's April. Okay. All right, the dates again. Okay, 117, 2016 through. No, no, 417. Oh, that one is 4, I'm sorry. It's all April. Okay. 417 of 2016 through 422 of 16 for the preparedness summit and road ready, road to ready workshop for emergency preparedness planning and response education and networking. The cost will be covered by Ebola virus disease grant funds. Okay, moved by Andrea, second by Phil. Discussion? All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. Okay, for community services, the office is involved in many local and statewide initiatives. Um, Pat, our new director, is working on connecting with those involved in the initiatives. The Lewis County Suicide Prevention Coalition meets monthly at Mountain View Prevention Conference Room. The coalition par participate, participants are members of the community, treatment agencies, and other county departments. They are currently receiving the 2015 goals of the group and are working on activities for 2016 to raise awareness about suicide and how to access help in the community. The next meeting is December 9th. The office recently 
received the resignation from Bridget Gillette, who served on both the mental health and alcohol subcommittees. She will be missed, and the board is looking for looking at possibilities that, that can be sent to the Board of Legislators for consideration. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Andrea. <coughs> County Manager Report, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, we've, I've been busy the last couple of days distributing United Way campaign letters um, and four more departments to go and I've given a copy of the letter and the donation forms to each of the legislators as well. Um, my personal goal this year is really to see an increase in participation. It's not so much about the dollar amount, it's really about um, digging a little deeper and, and just giving what you can to the very worthwhile organization and that money comes right back into Lewis County. Um, the only thing I want to report on is the Monday and Tuesday before Thanksgiving, I had the privilege of attending um, a conference called Bridges Out of Poverty, um, which was sponsored by, primarily, I believe, by NERCL. Um, it was probably one of the best conferences I, I think I've been to in my career. Um, the lady who led it uh, was from Minneapolis, and uh, I think is a personal model of pulling herself out of poverty, out of generational poverty, and creating a very successful career. She now um, consults in law enforcement, emergency management services, and social services throughout the country, counseling people on understanding what generational poverty is, what it looks like, how it feels, and uh, gave us some, I think, some uh, very tangible real-life solutions to how we in the middle and upper class who are making the rules and setting the precedents, how we might be interacting in a way that uh, in fact reinforces generational poverty and doesn't actually help solve it. Um, I'm meeting with Karen Bolivar next week to see what other additional steps we might take to maybe use Jody's skills going forward. Um, but I have to say it was it was um, well attended. There were probably 80 people there from the Tri-County area. Uh, it was just a, a really eye-opening experience. So um, I hope we can maybe do something with that. I will mention just from a county perspective, one thing, simple thing that she mentioned was the idea of people who are in generational poverty who may not be familiar with the government process of filling out forms. Um, people who have to come in to multiple agencies. She gave an example of a, a, a county in Ohio that actually created one single intake form for the entire county for all social services. So when you as an individual came in, you would fill out one form. It got logged into one system. And if you gave permission to the county, every department who needed to see your profile could see it. And it was efficient. It helped the people who were trying to get the services. Um, obviously, it enabled them to get through a lot of barriers that they might not otherwise have gotten through. It's simple things and it's hard things, but it was a, a really, really good um, conference. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Liz, um, to add to that, at, at the uh, aging meeting the other day, they said that when a doctor refers someone to for home care, uh, helping with the cleaning and whatever that, that aging would provide, they in turn have to do this 26 page document to, to and it's the same thing as, as what the hospital's already done, a doctor has done, you know, so that that reinforced what you had you had said that, that we should have opportunities to to streamline that, I would think. One would hope so. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, the rules in New York sometimes are a little staggering, as we know. But if you think about it, most of our agencies, the way they're set up is predicated by what New York State has said. Here's what you must do. And we know at the state level there's not a lot of hugging going on to create streamlined, you know, streamlined services. So I think, you know, the challenge is to can we create the grassroots from the bottom up effort to you know potentially tackle some of these kind of sensible issues. But point will take it. Go to Patty. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, you have before you the list of balances 
And I will just read them off. Special contingency is at 92.859. Regular contingency is at 291.210. Capital data processing has 141,440 in it. Capital equipment, the highway balance is 15214 The county is 317649 You can see that it, it went up because we put that 120000 in there. Sales tax is still on budget, doing well. Um, the hospital repayment is on time, and their balance is $3.7 million. I also want to mention that they are continuing to um, prepay for their pension, so they should be in good shape to pay their, their pension payment on December 15th. Internal service fund, um, as you can see, October was another bad month, and the 15% increase in premiums is not showing up in that balance yet. That won't show up until November. Um, the, Fund balances in dire straits, so I'm hoping that the 15% will start to make a difference. And that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Patty. A few of you have notes that I have. Um, I know most recently we were talking about the minimum wage proposal from the governor. And uh, interesting enough, I got a call just a couple days ago from his regional representative and wanted to know what I felt about it. So <laughs> I took advantage of the opportunity and pointed out some of the inequities it would create for Lewis County. We have fast food workers that potentially could make a substantial amount of money over what we pay our dedicated hospital employees, some of them. I pointed out that uh, there's a, they've done a lot to keep struggle to keep businesses in New York recently. And this would be counterproductive. Other states that don't have the higher minimum wage are luring our businesses to there. Um, and there are other comments that I told them that I think overall, I think the most people in the North would feel the same. I pointed out to my own business, I said, Potentially, we could have farm workers working for more than the owner themselves. So, anyhow, uh, I told them that we had done some discussion about possible resolution ourselves, just to confirm our feelings. And if the legislators concur, I would ask uh, maybe Jones help in drafting a resolution that we could forward to the governor at our next meeting. Does anybody have a problem with that now? We can naturally be up for discussion. That's a uh, like to see that happen. Okay, uh, just another note. Uh, really looking forward to December 10th. That's when the announcement comes through for CFA or applications. So that's pretty much it for my report at this time. Are you going to go there like you did before? I'm kind of planning on it, Phil. Okay. Eric right. is playing the whole thing. Good. 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 Maybe you need to go and chaperone those two, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that won't be necessary. <laughs> I'm not sure the name of the But at this time, I'll ask if there were any more comments from the public regarding our three local laws. <coughs> comments at this time. If not, I'll announce that the public hearing is closed. We'll move on to the Ways and Means Report for Rule 7. Terry. The Ways and Means Committee reports they've examined the claims presented for payment in the total amount of $1,226,167.91 and recommend that they be audited and allow for the amounts claimed. Moved by Jerry, second by Phil. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. First resolution then is to audit and allow the claim to the amount of one million two twenty six one sixty seven ninety one. Moved by Larry, second by Neil. Discussion? Roll call vote, Terry. Brennan? Yes. 
Chartrand? Yes. Dahlhoff? Yes. Halfway? Yes. King? Yes. Colzer? Yes. Mauerhan? Yes. Mosier? Yes. Pepper? Yes. Tabo? Yes. Adopting and otherwise treating local law number 8, 2015. Moved by Jerry, second by Larry. Discussion? Again, roll call vote, Terry. Brennan? Yes. Chartrand? Yes. Dalhoff? Yes. Halfway? Yes. King? Yes. Calzer? Yes. Marahan? Yes. Mosier? Yes. Pepper? Yes. Table? Yes. Adopting and otherwise treating local law number 9, 2015. Moved by Phil, second by Brian. Discussion? Roll call vote, Terry. Brennan? Yes. Chartrand? Yes. Dalhoff? Yes. Halfway? Happily, yes. King? Yes. Calzer? Yes. Mauerhand? Yes. Mosier? Yes. Pepper? Yes. Table? Yes. Adopting and otherwise treating local law number 10, 2015. Moved by Brian, second by Larry. Discussion? And roll call again, Terry. Brennan? Yes. Chartrand? Yes. Dalhoff? Yes. Athway? Yes. King? Yes. Calzer? Yes. Mauerhan? Yes. Mosier? Yes. Pepper? Yes. Table? Yes. Amending the 2016 tentative county budget to amend the compensation plan with reference to public health department. Moved by Jerry, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor of the resolution say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Gary. Resolution 395 is adopting the budget for fiscal year commencing January 1, 2016 making appropriations for the conduct of county government and establishing rates of compensation for officers and employees for fiscal year 2016. Moved by Phil, second by Craig. Discussion? Roll call vote, Terry. Brennan? Yes. Chartrand? Yes. Dahoff? Yes. Halfway? Yes. King? Yes. Colzer? Yes. Mollerhan? Yes. Mosier? Yes. Pepper? Yes. Table? Yes. Okay, I have the amount. Patty, I never did get the amount uh, of the levy. The final levy amount. Do you have that? Yes, I do. Fifteen million one twenty-two eight thirty-two. Fifteen million. I'm sorry. Fifteen million one twenty-two eight thirty-two. Eight thirty-two. Thank you. Assessing and levying the amount of tax called for under the budget as adopted by the board on the first day of December as provided for under county law to the sum of fifty million one hundred twenty. Fifteen. Fifteen. I said, you know, when you said 50, I'm like, 50 million? <laughs> okay, let's correct that. 15 million. 15 million, 122,832. Thank you. Okay, so move that. Jerry. Motion moved by Jerry, second by Dick. Further discussion? We have a roll call vote on that. Brennan? Yeah, 15, I'm good with it. <laughs> Chartrand? Yes. Dalhoff? Yes. Hathaway? Yes. King? Yes. Calzer? Yes. Mauerhan? Yes. Mosier? Yes. Pepper? Yes. Tabo? Yes. Resolution for maintenance of the county road system for 2016. Moved by Craig, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. 
for snow removal on county road system for 2016. Moved by Larry, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing the supervisor of each town in the county to add their tax warrant, the 2016 county tax. Moved by Larry, second by Jerry. Discussion? So this is the good news you were referring to on December 31st, or Greg? <laughs> Further comments? All in favor of the resolution say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Relevying unpaid school taxes and village taxes on assessment rolls. Moved by Brian, seconded by Andrea. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing county treasurer to make necessary budget transfers. Moved by Phil, seconded by Craig. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing an agreement with the Chamber of Commerce for ATV permit services. Moved by Jerry, second by Brian. Discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Authorizing an agreement between Community Services Department and Credo Community Center for treatment of addictions. Moved by Andrea, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Authorizing sublease agreement between Mountain View Prevention Services and Community Services. Moved by Craig, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing agreements between Community Services and Mountain View Prevention, Oneida Lewis Nysark, and um, Northern Regional Center for Independent Living. Moved by Andrea, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. <laughs> Authorizing the agreement between the county and the town of Diana Museum. Moved by Phil, second by Dick. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing agreement between District Attorney and John Sarando, Esquire. Moved by Andrea, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. <coughs> Authorizing agreement between District Attorney and Kevin Edmonds. Moved by Andrea, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing agreement between the district attorney and Samuel L. Livingstone. Moved by Jerry, second by Craig. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. <coughs> Authorizing agreement between district attorney and Mark A. Tuttle. Moved by Brian, <coughs> second by Jerry. Discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Transfer funds, special contingency to district attorney. Moved by Neil, second by Jerry. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Carried. Resolution and order with reference to dog quarantine. Moved by Brian, second. <laughs> Brian dreamed about this one last year. <laughs> We've got him coming around though. It's a, it's a, it's a tradition. Do we have a second by Dick? Any discussion? I figured you'd get a check on it. <laughs> All in favor of the resolution say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. To close Capitol Bridge account, Cemetery Road over Roaring Brook. Moved by Phil, second by Craig. Discussion? These are in the contract that are done, right? That was, we're doing closing them all. Okay. Any further comments? <coughs> all in favor of the resolution say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. To close capital account, Deer River Road. Moved by Phil, second by Brian. Discussion? All 
All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Carried. To close Capital Bridge account, Fish Creek. Moved by Phil, second by Ryan. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. To close Capital Bridge account, Mad River. Moved by Phil, second by Dick. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Mm -hmm. Carried. To close Capital Bridge account, Sugar River Bridge. Moved by Phil, second by Brian. Discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Carried. To close Capital account, West Main over Sugar River Bridge. Moved by Phil, second by Craig. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. To close Capital account, West Road. Moved by Phil, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Carried. Agreement with Central New York Fair Housing to update the analysis of impediments to fair housing choice in Lewis County. Moved by Larry, second by Jerry. Discussion? All right, question, um, what kind of results can you expect from this, Larry, can you address it? This is part of, um, we're part of North Country Consortium, and this uh, was our share of that cost. So this study has been done. I'm not sure. I'll have to get back to you. No. Actually, Mike, it hasn't. It's this is. It's not done yet. Um, completing it will allow us to have access to additional funding opportunities. Oh. Okay. Other questions? All in favor of the resolution, say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. To authorize levying Hudson Black River Black River Regulated District Assessments. Moved by Brian, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Carry. Authorizing agreement between Human Resources Department and SciTech Business Solutions. Moved by Jerry, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor say, Brian, you have? Yeah, just to let everyone know this site, this is part of the training program that they were putting in place with them, just in case anyone has any questions. Thank you for clarifying that. Thank you, Brian. Other comments? All in favor of the resolution say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Appointing member to Office for Aging Advisory Council. Moved by Neil, second by Phil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Authorizing Office for the Aging to retain outside counsel. Moved by Neil, second by Andrea. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Gary. Authorizing agreement between Office for Aging and the McManus Hotel. Moved by Larry, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing contractual agreements between Office for Aging and various providers for program services. Moved by Neil, second by Andrea. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Carried. Authorizing agreement between Office for Aging and Osceola Outpost. Moved by Larry, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Authorizing agreement between Office for Aging and Volunteer Transportation Center of Jefferson County. Moved by Neil, second by Jerry. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing agreement between Office for Aging and four meal site facilities. Moved by Neil, second by Phil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Appointing members to planning board. Moved by Larry, second by Andrea. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Carried. Appointing members to Public Health Services Advisory Board. Moved by Andrea, second by Neil. Discussion? 
All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Authorizing intergovernmental agreement between Lewis County Public Health and Oneida County Public Health Department. Moved by Jerry, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Transfer funds, public health. Moved by Brian, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing digital data release license agreement between the county and absolute auctions and realty. Moved by Craig, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. To transfer funds, recreation, forestry, and parks. Moved by Larry, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Amended compensation plan with reference to Sheriff's Department. Moved by Neil, second by Larry. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Carried. Authorizing the agreement between the Sheriff's Department and Black Creek Integrated Systems Corporation. Moved by Brian, second by Jerry. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Gary. Authorizing the agreement between the Sheriff's Department and ELW Software. Moved by Andrea, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Gary. Authorizing agreement between Sheriff's Department and Locum Interactive Incorporated. Moved by Neil, second by Craig. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Authorizing agreement between the Sheriff's Department and Transitional Living Services of Northern New York. Moved by Jerry, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Carried. To appropriate <laughs> funds, Sheriff's Department. Moved by Brian, second by Larry. Discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Carried. To transfer funds, Sheriff's Department. Moved by Phil, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. <coughs> Authorizing the agreement between Social Services and Community Action Planning Council of Jefferson County. Moved by Neil, second by Andrea. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Authorizing memorandum of understanding between uh, Social Services and New York State Office of Children and Family Services. Moved by Neil, second by Greg. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing agreement between Social Services and the Resolution Center of Jefferson and Lewis Counties. Moved by Neil, second by Dick. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Mm -hmm. Carried. Authorizing agreement between Social Services and the Resolution Center of Jefferson and Lewis Counties. Moved by Neil, second by Jerry. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Carried. Authorizing agreement between Social Services and the William George Agency for Children's Services. Moved by Neil, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. To appropriate funds for social services. Moved by Phil, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Carried. Approving intergovernmental agreement between the Solid Waste Department and the United for Commercial Solid Waste Management Authority for processing and marketing of recyclables. Moved by Dick, second by Craig. Discussion? Craig, would you care to elaborate a little on this resolution? Just a little. Um, 
call you off guard. It, you did in a way, but basically what's going to happen by doing this is it's going to be an ultimate gross savings of 41000 a year to the county. And that's um, relying on current status of recyclables, etc. Simplify our recycling system. Correct. Yeah, in a way, it's it's zero sort. All the recyclables go into one container, and then they're transferred that way to Oneida Herkimer and processed there. So the savings comes in both labor and equipment. Thanks, Greg. Other comments? So everything is compacted together, and they separate it there. Or? That's my understanding. Yeah. <laughs> It comes in here as zero sort, really, yeah. and then it goes out as zero sort. Mm -hmm. So we have that, that cost savings of sorting out the different recyclables, and it offsets the cost of, of shipping it down there. Oneida Herkimer has a state-of-the-art system that it automatically separates over there. And as a result, we're also going to be able to eliminate some of the equipment used currently, like the magnets to get the metal out the belt system. So it's about, at this point, it looks like about $41,000 savings annually. So once we pass this right now, we're going to be on zero sort? Yes. No. Well, January it, it starts January 1st. So going ahead, you know, it's just a couple of weeks. So that, what that means for the public is that Instead of sorting your papers out, your tins and your glass, everything goes in one bucket. Your hauler can take it all, dump it in one slot on his hauler. He backs in, dumps it. We scoop it up, put it in this compactor. It goes in one trailer, goes to one area, it's dumped. It's easier, it's easement for everyone all the way around. Well, it, it ought to enhance the recycling too, yes, I should think. Well, along with the clear bag law that we passed too, that all ties in together. Right. Good. Yeah. Also, we're there's an ongoing campaign to educate the public. Most recently, we had another series of um, educational formats um, put together, and we'll be reviewing that shortly, and it will be going out over the media so that people understand it better. What actually goes into the clear bags for recycling, and what doesn't. Jerry, yes. question. Yeah. Um, previously, we've sent flyers like pound cards and stuff around what the thing takes. Are we going to go through that again and educate the people over with those what we actually take for recycling? Well, actually, it's going to be done through a multimedia platform. And uh, Dank is also going to participate and share the cost of putting it out in a broader spectrum of media. So as far as um, any written material going out, I'm not aware of it. It's all going to be done through the uh, television networks. Um, just one addendum to that. We are going to be putting out a flyer with the tax bill. Oh, yeah, the tax and bill. Does. Thank okay, you. and let them know what we're actually recycling now, what we're up to. Okay, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Any other comments? All in favor of the resolution say aye. 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 Opposed? Gary, welcome for the break, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Authorizing agreement with Transitional Living Services of Northern New York. Moved by Phil, second by Brian. Discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Gary. To appropriate and transfer funds non-departmental. Moved by Phil, second by Jerry. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Carry. Authorizing additional legal fees pursuant to the retainer agreement with the Lattice Law Firm for professional services to assist in preparation of purchase power agreement. Moved by Phil, second by Larry. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. Authorizing agreement between the county and the Bernie Bus Tours and New York State ARC and Upstate Cerebral Palsy. 
Moved by Larry, second by Neil. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Gary. Authorizing County Treasurer to correct errors on tax rolls. Moved by Dick, second by Greg. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Gary. Appropriate and transfer funds, various accounts. Moved by Phil, second by Greg. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Gary. Authorizing contract addendums with various outside agencies. Moved by Phil, second by Brian. Discussion? Jerry. Yeah, I had one question. They count the fare daily and then subtract from our total uh, cost, and then we pay the difference in the box. <coughs> I, didn't, I didn't understand. Could well, the, I mean, as I read through here, there was a box of the dollar one way we just put in, like a cash box, and then they count at the end of the day. And uh, do they apply it against the... Uh, Trip or am I dreaming here? You're talking what bus you talking about the bus thing. Oh, the bus thing. Yes. Going to Old Fort. It's four. I mean, it's four sixty-two a day. So what they, the people pay on the bus, that's subtracted from the four sixty-two. Or how Frank, do Frank, do you, do you, are you aware of what? I can't. I can't answer that, Mr. Chairman. No, the box is a separate. Is a separate. Thing for the, the transportation payment that's made by the county. There are funds that then come back to the federal government, but the box is a separate. Well, where does the box go? The money yeah. from the box. The box goes to Bernie Bus. Okay, so I mean, by them paying, it saves us nothing. <coughs> Well, does it reduce does all of the, uh, the federal transportation grant? Um, it's all part of the. So it, there, I don't believe there's any county cost to it. Okay. I'm just trying to understand the way it was spread. I lost it somewhere. Is that, is that right, our, Greg? Yeah, our program is, is based on the ridership. So this, this still a, that money uh, based on the ridership comes into to the county to operate the system. Okay. Thank you. Frank, does that somewhat reduce our contractual agreement to Bernie Bus? It's 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 part of that entire entire that process. But as Joan said, the the, the fair box is something that's separate that they work with uh, as far as their their incentives with their drivers and things. So it's a completely separate from the Stella program. Thank you. Okay. Any other comments on? Um, a resolution for contract with outside agencies. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Appropriate funds, Workforce Investment Act. Moved by Neil, second by Larry. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. A resolution authorizing submission of application on behalf of the county to New York State Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services for a public safety answering points grant. Moved by Neil, second by Jerry. Discussion? And Jerry, can you expound on that a little bit? And is that, that's in addition to all the monies we've gotten for the communication system so far, correct? Yeah, and I think Cheryl's here, but this is a peace out grant, I believe, and it, you can apply for that, and it's for the 911 system. This is not for the one that we've applied for before and got under. Is, uh, Cheryl yeah. here? Yeah. Yes, this is our annual wireless stipend. They list it as a grant, but it's actually our share of the wireless um, cell phone charges that we're eligible for. We have to apply for it as a grant for our share of the wireless fund. So they're granting us the opportunity to get the money that we're supposed to get. Yeah. Yes. And if you don't do the paperwork, then you won't get it. And that's for the full $10 million? 
Um, no. No. Am I reading that wrong? Well, it's ten million out of two hundred and twenty million that the state collects. They're giving ten million back to the county. And that's split between everybody. All counties in the All state. Counties. Our share wow, they're really generous. generous. <laughs> Our share last year was one hundred eighty-two. We expected in that same neighborhood. One hundred eighty-two thousand. We expected to be in that same neighborhood, but we won't know until we do the paperwork. Is this anything, Jerry, that we could get added value by um, paying for the radios to the fire departments where they were turned down for grants? No, this is really for the 911, you know, the Spillman project and stuff like that for the surcharge. There's different groups, and Cheryl would be better at explaining that, but we can't use it for the radio system, but we can use it for stuff in the 911 center. Like if we have, say, something went down, we can replace it with that money, but it's got a lot of restrictions, what you can spend it for and what you can. So. Thank you. And while we're on the subject related to that, Greg, uh, I did get an email from Senator Schumer's office just this morning uh, telling us to look out for the AFG grant. The applications are accepted December 7th through January 15th. Well, for, for one, I mean, the fire departments, if they got something they can bid for or apply for, have it, there's no way as a county level we could get something. No, that but, short but of time. he had expressed uh, that we could pass it on to the fire department. Yeah, and everybody should have got it. And, and you know, he also uh, offered assistance, so. Well, yes. I mean, if somebody's got something to apply this year, and he's willing to give them assistance. Because, I mean, I finally got the other letter, too, from FEMA, and even if we got the fire departments, you know, if they want to apply again this year, um, it cannot be used for this project because this project's over. Can this AFG grant be used for this project? Do what? The one that Mike is talking about. No. The one that Schumer just announced. The Can one? that be used for the radios? No. I wrote FEMA and asked them that question, and I didn't read the email with me. I was going, I apologize. I will get it for everybody. Um, we were far enough along in our project when they paid for them, when we had to buy them to keep moving our project along. Um, that's when it ended. And even though that it, it won't work. You can't apply for something that's already done, so you got to apply for something in the future for the AFG grant. Was, was there a reason why we got turned down, Jerry? Were they explicit? I have not seen the grants come back, but it got all three of us in the first round. So there are certain things that computers look at. So my thing is, is once we see them, we're going to miss something that the other people who made the first round had in their presentation, keyword or whatever. Because, I mean, my understanding is all three, North, South, and Central, got nailed the first round. Mm -hmm. Never made it through. So the mistake's got to be on all three of them, not just one of them. We paid somebody to do those. Didn't we pay some company to do yeah. those applications? Yeah. So it should have been on the stakes. The fire department's paid somebody, not us. Them grants are touch on. Okay. We we did, but just I understand. We did the same thing at Krogan, and we hired someone professional to do the one grant. It, it it's really they're really really tricky. They really are. I think in this round there was nine or ten thousand applicants all over the United States. So. All right, well, we have better luck with this resolution. <laughs> so uh, we'll, address, we'll address this now. Are there any further comments on resolution number 458? All in favor of the resolution say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. We transfer funds, public health. Moved by Andrea, second by Jerry. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. For other business, we do have a proclamation. Uh, 
very announcing the point. And uh, we do have an executive session at the request of our county attorney for contracts. So we'll vote. Uh, does anybody, legislator, have any other business at this time? Craig. I'd like to recognize the CEO of the hospital and his staff for the outstanding performance that they've shown us this year in turning it around. I realize that there's a lot of other factors, but I think quite often there's a lot of criticism out there as to how it's run. But to me, they've stepped up to the plate so far, and they deserve credit. And second, I'd like to wish everybody a happy and safe and a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. You're early, but well, <laughs> we are meeting again. Oh, yeah, 22nd. <laughs> <laughs> it never hurts to be. You can say it again. It's done. You can do it again. <laughs> yeah, it's done. Are there any other business? We Did expect it? gifts the 22nd. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> be careful what you do. I thought you were saying an early Gary, you have a proclamation? I have two appointments to, uh, the chairman has made two appointments to the Agriculture and Farmland Protection Board. Fred Monk as the Agriculture and Land Preservation Rep, and Robert Damagala as the Active Farmer Representative. And yes, I have a uh, commending resolution, or proclamation rather, for Josh Levesque. He could not be here this evening to accept this personally because he is taking classes to become a paramedic. Whereas Josh Lebeck has been a New York State Emergency Medical Technician for two years as a member of the Lions Fall Volunteer Fire Department Ambulance Squad, and he is involved in EMS outreach and recruitment and is committed to delivering the best care in the rural Lions Falls communities. The transporting to the nearest facility is 20 miles and transporting to the closest trauma and cardiac stroke centers are a minimum of 45 minutes travel time. On April 26, 2014, Josh Lebeck responded to a call for an MVA truck versus tree. The vehicle was reported to have been traveling at a high rate of speed. He arrived on the scene within six minutes immediately recognized the seriousness of the accident, quickly assessed the patient still trapped in the truck, and immediately requested advanced life support. Josh managed the patient's life threats for 24 minutes while in the wreckage during extrication. While the patient was being loaded into the ambulance, he realized that no ALS was going to arrive. He quickly and confidently relied on his assessment and management skills and continued to treat and manage all life threats. And whereas the conscientious and knowledgeable response of Josh Lebeck was directly responsible for saving the life of the seriously injured patient, and in recognition of his exemplary performance, he received the New York State EMS Council 2015 Basic Life Support Provider of the Year Award. Now, therefore, I, Michael A. Tabal, as chairman and on behalf of the Lewis County Board of Legislators, do hereby record our appreciation and enduring respect for the dedicated service of Josh Levesque as a Lions Falls volunteer, firefighter, and ambulance basic life support responder. Josh can't be here tonight, but you may be able to watch the film later on, so maybe we should give him a round of applause. Thank you, Josh, and all EMTs as well. Go ahead, Terry. There is the proclamation commending the Copenhagen girls varsity soccer team. Do you want me to read this as well? And you presented it today to them? We, we did present it today, Terry, and I did read some to the audience. So I guess someone cares to hear it. Okay. Uh, but we'll have it for a copy for anybody who'd like to see it. Um, yes. It went over well as Craig said, so. Mm -hmm. Well, let's give them a hand, too. Yes. <laughs> We have Employee Learning Week 2015 Proclamation. 
Whereas the organizations throughout Lewis County are committed to creating a highly skilled workforce that is critical to growing and sustaining a competitive advantage. And whereas these organizations recognize that having a knowledgeable, skilled workforce improves the performance of organizations and that learning develops individual and organizational knowledge and expertise. And whereas the Association for Talent Development, the world's largest association dedicated to those who develop talent in organizations, has declared December 7th through 11, 2015 as Employee Learning Week and designated this time for organizations to recognize the value of employee learning. And whereas the Central New York chapter of ATD and organizations throughout Lewis County have demonstrated their commitment to develop, developing the skills of employee and the workforce, now therefore I, Michael A. Tabal, Chairman of the Board of Legislators, do hereby proclaim December 7th through 11th as Employee Learning Week in Lewis County. And that concludes. Thank you, Terry. Do we have anything else before we go into executive session? If not, I'll entertain a motion to go into executive session. Moved by Dick. Second. Yeah. Yep. Second by Larry. <coughs> and like, what was the purpose? In, in the um, for personnel matter. Personnel Question you? Yeah, certainly. So we got a motion and a second by Larry to go into executive session. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? We are in executive session. We'll have a five, ten minute recess. And I expect no other action that I'll be in executive session. Yeah, yeah, Rocky. Rocky here made it. You can make his day around.